Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I'll be stuffing $1,075. So let's go ahead and count the money to make sure that's what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred. Fifty, one hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So $1,075. Let's go ahead and start with my wallet. So in here, I do have some receipts to scan into Fetch. Fetch is an app where you can scan your receipts, get points for them, and redeem those points for gift cards. So I will have my referral code down below in case you're interested in that. And the only envelope that is getting stuffed in here is going to be spending, which will get $30. So $20, $30. And I just have some left over from Starbucks and... I have, so this is spending. I have some money in my personal um, envelope. This is from one of my own cash envelopes in my own spending binder. I'm gonna keep it in there though, so. Okay, so that is it for my wallet. Next, we are going to do my bills. So I still have not updated my monthly bill tracker. This is from November and December is literally almost over and um, I still haven't fixed that, but I'm just so behind. So um, the first envelope is rent, which will be getting 395, but first I wanna take this $30 out. So this $30 is in here because my rent is $1,180, but they've only been charging us $1,150. So that extra $30 is supposed to be my payment for my cat because I have a cat. I actually have two cats, but I didn't tell them I got a new cat. Anyways, um, so when I go to pay my rent, when it says like I can check online, um, 1150 then the $30 I just always every month put into my month ahead envelope so that's what I plan on doing with this I haven't checked my rent amount yet though um, so I have to do that before I go ahead and put it in month ahead so I'm just gonna put this in the pocket right here of my binder so rent is getting 395 So we have one, two, three hundred, three fifty, three seventy, three ninety, three ninety five. Next is car payment, which will get two hundred and seventeen. So we have two hundred, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and that's all that it has. I just paid this yesterday, so. That's good. Car insurance is getting 120 and I will be paying my car insurance soon, which is 240. So I'm just gonna put this, um, I'm gonna separate it by just putting it like that. So that is car insurance. Next, internet will be getting 63. So normally I would be stuffing 53 and 54 to make my monthly payment of $107, but um, I'm stuffing an extra $10 in here this time because I have a $10 late fee, which never happens to me. The reason why I have the late fee is because my debit card was on our um, like account. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I went to the ATM to go deposit some money and the ATM took my debit card and did not give it back to me. So I lost, I basically lost my debit card in the ATM. So the next day I went to SefQ and got a new debit card and that was fine and everything. But since I got a new card, I had to, everything that I have like connected to my card, I had to update cause I have a new card number now. And I just forgot to update Xfinity. And so when my monthly payment for November went to like come out, it never did because 
the card that they took like is no longer usable and I never added my new one on there. So uh, Logan got a text saying we have an overdue bill and I was like, what? Oh my gosh. So thank God the late fee is only $10, but yeah, that's why um, I have to stuff $63. So we have 50, 60, 1, 2, 3. And then here we have, oh, okay. This is my payment. I have to go deposit soon. Um, I'm going to go deposit this um, next week. So this is my first half of my next payment. So I'm just going to, again, keep that separated like that. So yeah, ever since the ATM took my card, I don't know why it did. And so I have not been going to the ATM since then. I'm just scared to. So every time I need to deposit money, I have to literally go in into the bank to the teller and do it because that's the only way I will like trust it. So yeah. Um, we're gonna go into subscriptions and that will be getting $16. So 10, 15, 16. Okay, again, I have to go deposit some of this. I actually have to go pay all of this. I have a lot of ones. That's because of my Netflix is $8 and yeah. Anyways, um, so this is starting the first half of my next payment. So actually, I'm just gonna combine this one. So now in subscriptions, I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know why I counted all those ones, but anyways, I have $56 in here. So 40 of it is for um, my subscriptions that I have to go pay. And then the 16 is like starting for the new month. So I hope that makes sense. Next, we are going to stuff debt, which will get $100. This is Logan's debt. This is Logan's paycheck. So debt now has one, two, 300. So right now we only need $144 left to stuff in here. And then we will be completely done with his debt. So I'm going to fill out this little tracker right here. So we just stuffed 100 and this is available on my Etsy shop as a digital download and a physical product. If you're interested, I believe it's sold out though right now. I am way behind on my Etsy shop. I have a lot of things that are like low stock and selling out. I have, I have to take time to like just redo everything and make products and I want to like switch some things around. So yeah, I think this one's sold out. But anyways, um, the denominations are small so I'm just going to color in the ones that add up to 100. I have my calculator just in case. So let's do a 25, 30, 25, 25. I guess I could do all 25s, but I wanna kind of color in the numbers by the rows. So let's do 15. So I'm at 65, a 10, which is 75. Yeah, and then I think I'll just do another 25. So that is 100. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. It usually doesn't take that long to dry. So, okay, so now I'm gonna put that back in here. Okay, next is savings, which we'll get $4 because it was the leftover four in his paycheck. So one, two, three, four. So now savings has 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So 371 in savings. And that is it for this binder. Next, I'm gonna go into my brown binder. And the first one is household, which will get $20. I did that in a 10 and two fives. So 10, 15, 20. And now household has 20, 30, 35, 40. Next is health, which will get $10. 
So now health has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. 75 in health. Next, pet care is getting 35. So we have 20, 35. And there's $2 in here, so now we have 37. And that is it for this binder. Next are sinking funds. And the first envelope is medical, which will get 15. So 10, 15. So now in medical, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 101. Car maintenance will get $10. So now car maintenance has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, and one. Car registration will get 10. So now in here we have 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 275, 280, one, two. So 282 in car registration. Pet emergency will get $10. So now pet emergency has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. And then I'm gonna stuff Christmas. So um, right now I'm filming this on December 23rd, obviously two days till Christmas and um, super late. I am going to start stuffing for next year though because this year we didn't have any money to get gifts for anybody and we feel really bad. So um, we are just gonna start stuffing small amounts into Christmas and kind of just making it a priority right now. So that'll, that will get $5 and I have this super cute tracker from um, Jasmine's wallet. I really, really love her shop. I will link it down below. Um, so this is a Christmas savings challenge. You can make each tree to be however much you want and there's a spot for uh, a goal amount. So I think I'm stuffing $5 now. I think that's a pretty good amount. I don't, I, we're not gonna really be able to stuff much more than that, like each paycheck. So I think I can go ahead and make the trees worth $5. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna write that on here and fill it out. So each tree is going to be $5. And so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's 28 trees. Okay, one of my keys fell off and I had to put it back on. Okay, so I'm gonna do 28 times five. So I will have 140 when this whole tracker is filled. And that's not enough for Christmas, but um, I'm just gonna do that. And then once I reach this goal, I will restart this savings challenge. So yeah, I think that's super cute. Okay. Oh, I need to color in one of the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. Put my $5 in here. Um, next is passport. I have mine, but Logan does not have his, so we're just saving up, just so like he has it, cause that's like good for 10 years or something. So passport's getting 10. Actually, I'm gonna put this, why? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna switch that out for the 10 in my wallet for spending. Cause I'll just give this to the cashier in person. Okay. So passport is getting 10 and there's 20 in here. So now we have 30. And then future is getting $5, which is the last $5. And I've been using this for my new kitten. Honestly, I'm thinking about using this money to buy my cats a new cat tree. So my tracker is so wrong. I still have not fixed it. 
So in future, we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. I put each of these to be worth $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh yeah. So my tracker says I have $70, but I only have 45. So I have to go fix this, but I'm just gonna do that later. So now my Christmas uh, tracker should be dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in here. That is so adorable and it fits perfectly in my envelope. So that is it for today's cash stuffing video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.